In this video, you'll learn how to create these smooth zooms, ins and outs for your short form content. To create the zoom, I want you to go over to your project file and grab an adjustment layer. So just click on that, make the adjustment layer, drag it over the adjustment layer, over your clip, make sure it fits the clip. And the reason why we want to put an adjustment layer and not just to the clip is because if you have multiple clips stacked next to each other and everything, the zoom is only going to affect the first one. It's not going to affect the second one. So it's just going to go from a your zoom in or whatever kind of zoom out to original footage that, that is just not working. It doesn't look great. So that's the reason why. Now I want you to search up a effect called transform, drag it onto the adjustment layer. And what the effect transform initially does is when you uncheck this shutter angle and crank this shutter angle all the way up, you will get motion blur as you zoom in rather than if you just regularly used motion up here, you won't get motion blur. So what we want to do to get that nice fast zoom in is come over to the scale, click the scale, go a few frames forward just to test it really quick. Make this 120 and we get this type of effect really so quick. This is how you do. That's pretty so this is how boring. You do. Now what we want to do is come over to the carrot, left click on it. We will see all the velocity, left click, drag, right click, hit easy in. Now you get this effect. So this it kind of gives it a nice, but we're gonna tweak it more and look, make it look even better. Grab this right one and crank it all the way to the left. Grab this left one, kind of bring it to the right just slightly. And now we get that nice smooth zoom that we're looking for. So this is just how you, like that boom, quick zoom. So this is how you, and now we want kind of a so zoom out. So you just do the opposite. Wherever you want the zoom in, just place these here. So for instance, if I wanna move the zoom and not so have a zoom in or do right there, now we can do the zoom out. So anywhere, let's say I want the zoom out to start right here. I'm gonna click right here. Now these keyframes initially will not move in until this one. And now I'll go a few frames forward. Now click it and then go a few frames forward again, click it again. And for this last one, I want you to make it 100. So now we get this effect where it stays still. You can see when I play this, it's staying still and then it zooms out. So what we can do again is just grab this left one, drag it to the right, and we get this type of effect. So this is how you do the zoom in. Boom, that is absolutely amazing. But let's say you don't wanna do this every single time, waste countless hours and not meet those kind of deadlines you're looking for, or just take hours and hours of editing for just a useless repetitive tax that there's just no point. So like I said in the intro, you can come over here to the presets and you can get all these presets in the link description. But with the one we're gonna be looking at today is this zoom pack. What it essentially does is it has all the zooms that I signaturely use in every single one of my videos and like Tom Nosk and all these other creators, Houston Cold uses zooms like this to just capture your attention. You probably don't realize it. Let's just grab in. I use these subtle zooms a lot, especially a double stack adjustment layer. So I'll show you. So let's say I wanted my signature zoom where it just starts from 100 or 150 and then it zooms out quick like this. So this is how you do. You see a lot of this, a lot, a lot of this in about every short form content. So this is how you just do. Just a nice zoom. You can just mess with this, bring it closer. So this is how so you it's do. not more aggressive. Now what I like to do is it's at 100 now. So I like to stack on a top of it. So when it zooms out, so this is how you do. it has a, just a nice subtle zoom in. So what we can do is we come over here to the subtle zoom in from 100 to 110, drag it on top of this other one. And what it'll essentially do is it, it'll start from 100 and then it'll slowly zoom into 110. So instead of having this effect, so this is how you do the zoom in and then you have this effect when you double stack zooms. So this is how you do zoom It's in. very subtle but it works absolutely amazingly. If you guys want to get that, go down in the link description, make sure to grab that and use the code zoom to save $5 off and click this video right over here to learn more effects just like these.